Assalamu alaikum and greetings. Alishan Mao here. Out here at my favorite spot, I am going to test the Finwing Traveler V2. It is right here in my car and it's carrying case nice and good. Very easy to carry in my small Suzuki. Even, even smaller than this car can carry it. So I have built the plane, I have set everything up and it's time we get it out, assemble it and give it a flight right away and see how it flies, what kind of performance we get. Check it out, all right? One wing, two wing, shell. I got my battery as well. And the tail section, the fuselage, the main section, and my horizontal stabilizer. And I also brought an FPV system so that uh, if I could, I would probably have some fun flying it with FPV. And two propellers are right here. All right, let's start assembling. So first off, I'm gonna assemble the tail. All right, and we will lock the tail in its position. Ah, my Velcros are coming off. Okay, my receiver is in. I'm gonna connect my two servos to rudder and elevator. I'm gonna connect my two servos to the rudder and elevator, okay. And put the cables down here. Let's install the horizontal stabilizer. Matching the polarity of the cables. Right there. I actually worry that these screws won't be able to hold the horizontal stabilizer, but uh, I spoke to Ben and he says that it is simply fine. They did the crash testing where they broke the tail and basically this section came off but they did, this one did not come off. So, someone using guns? I have no idea. I hear a shot. Yeah. I hope they are not shooting at my side. Okay. All right. Horizontal stabilizer secured. Now time for the wings. And lock the wing. And lock the wing. Okay, very good. Now I need to put my battery in and check the CG. It might take one or two flights to balance the CG. So anyway, in the beginning I'll put the battery as far as forward side, leaving a little bit, and check the CG again. And it shows me nice nose heavy. We'll leave it here, okay? All right, now put the propellers on. That's it. And this one. There, our plan is ready. Okay, we are all set. Which way the wind is coming from? No wind at all. No wind at all. So, 
Yeah, a little bit wind from this side. I'll throw it this way. Okay. Everything is good. Here we go. Okay, I believe CG issue and trimming issue. It's going up all the time. So I need to trim a lot of right. Okay, stalling. Stalling very, very quickly. So let's land. When it gets slow, it stalls. Well, flying, okay, but why is it stalling time by time? I have no idea. Maybe when I get too slow, it stalls, nose heavy. Well, I have to experiment with the CG, I believe. So my trim is set. I have, oh, oh, we are stalling again. We are stalling again. Maybe too much elevator, hold on. Okay, now the elevator is fine. Now it just goes down, pitches down. So I have to set the trims more. Flies really nice and fast. One moment, I need to land it. It's very fast, man. Coming in fast, coming in fast. Okay, <laughs> I controlled. At least I put it on a slope there. Good, let me set the trims and everything. I believe I'm having CG issue. Okay, so here we go. Put the battery a little backward. And now check the CG. And according to CG, it shows me tail heavy. Okay, let's fly it and I hope I don't break it. All right, much better now, much, much better. So CG was very nose heavy in the beginning and that is why it was a stalling. Oh, I thought I would crash and break it on my very first takeoff and won't be able to do any kind of FPV then. <laughs> so CG is set now, very good. We are not stalling. It is fast, man. It is fast. Let me just try to see how slow I can go. Loving the climb rate on that and the sound of two motors. Stalling again, but got it in control. Okay, now I'm flying slowly. Cruising. This is the cruising speed. Cruises very well. Slow speed flight performance is okay. Not bad. But you cannot get too slow because it will stall. It's a small airplane and it doesn't have that much gliding capability. But I'm loving the speed on this baby, man. <laughs> it's really nice and fast aircraft. Flying slow to the ground, doing FPV will be really fun. Woo, it's fast. <laughs> I like it, man. Love to do this fast FPV closer to the ground.
So wait, can we do some aerobatics, please? Okay, <laughs> I managed to do a roll. <laughs> it was one of the ugliest rolls ever. <laughs> It's making some whistling sounds like <laughs> like whistling at me, huh? All right, we're gonna do a loop, I believe, not roll. Okay, loops are fine. Rolls are not fine. Oh, we stalled! <laughs> so whenever you stall, make sure you have enough altitude and you can go full throttle to get your controls back. Man, this flies superb flies superb and very very nice two motors are humming in harmony it has plenty of power Climb rate is nice and amazing. We have almost vertical climb. This is a nice aircraft. I'm having fun now flying it around. I don't want to do FPV right away. I just want to fly it around and have some fun with it. Check out the Ferrari right here. <laughs> Air Ferrari. All right, let me land. It flies very well. I found the CG location and everything is working charming. Just need to set a little bit of trims. One moment, nose coming down, little bit up trim. Flies nice and straight. No, it's climbing, it's climbing and stalling, stalling. It gives you some good amount of time. It gives you good time to control it after stalling. But again, you have to have some altitude in order to be able to control and get it back to control. I found if you give too much elevator trim, it will stall very, very easily at slow speeds because it tries to pitch up its nose and then it stalls. But if we give elevator a bit downward, then you have to always control the elevator manually. Otherwise you will hit the ground. Seems like my battery is uh, begging me to land. So, let's land. Comes really fast, man. There's no way I can land it this way, so I will go and make an approach from a little farther. Don't want to hit the dunes once again. Okay, here we come. Watch out for the left and right signs right there. Sweet landing. That's what we call sweet landing. A little bit chipping on the propeller, but everything is fine. So my maiden flight went successful. I'm very, very happy I didn't break it because I actually plan to carry it to China and enjoy some FPV there. Now, the next step, of course, is to add in a stabilization system. And I'll see if I can find time to bring it back again here before I go to China and test the stabilization system and auto return to home and everything. And then, of course, the next step, you know, the FPV flights on this one. We will see how far we can go depending on what kind of system I'm installing. If I can see the battery levels and everything, that will be nice. Traveler V2. It's absolutely a nice FPV RC aircraft. The best thing about it, as I said, you can take it apart and 
pack it into a small carrying case or your backpack and carry it around with you anywhere and enjoy your FPV flights wherever you go. Carry your traveler veto with you. So that's what I'm going to do now. Pack it up, go home and uh, install the uh, stabilization system and FPV system and hope I can find time to fly FPV before I go to China. Otherwise, we'll enjoy FPV back home at my old place by the riverside. Thank you for watching the video and thank you very much for your continued support towards my work on YouTube. Please subscribe to my channel and stay updated for all the regular video uploads. If you like this video, please hit the like button and share the link over your social sites.